Every patrol is intelligence-led, and briefings warn them of the hotspots in Paderborn town centre and suspicious activity. We check the seat belts and stuff like that, so when if we have to arrest someone, we put them into a vehicle, basically making sure that they're safe and they're going to be OK in the vehicle. Um, then we do the check of the equipment in the back. We just go through that, make sure everything's there, things like torches, um, evidence handling kits, stuff like that, and we just make sure all that's there before we go out on patrol. Patrols of service family accommodation are first up on night duty, reassuring families that the military police are there to keep them and their properties safe. Firstly, we're just looking for any signs of suspicious activity, um, such as any vehicles that shouldn't be around, any um, people that shouldn't be hanging around. Uh, we're also looking for things like anything that's not left secure, such as uh, kids' toys, bicycles, um, and a lot of people forget to put their sat-navs away at night time as well, so we're just looking for anything like that. Friday night on a payday weekend, Paderborn Town Centre is thriving with those who have money to burn. It's now about two in the morning and the town centre here is still busy. As the bars and clubs start to empty out, the key role of the RMP will be to act as a deterrent to help stop any trouble from occurring. For the RMP, it's all about being seen and being proactive as well as reactive, with surge patrols and extra feet on the beat. Assaults are the most common incident here, often fuelled by alcohol. I think that the hardest part of the job is um, dealing with the, the aftermath of the assaults because sometimes it does tend to get a bit gruesome, depending on the severity of it. Um, but in saying that, uh, one of the good points is that if we do, because we're on the scene first there and because of what our job entails, we can um, see the job through from start to finish. Cooperation with the German Civil Police, or GCP, is key, and when the patrol are called to claims a soldier has been assaulted, they take over from the GCP on the scene. The soldier claims he's been hit by another serviceman, but with witnesses giving conflicting accounts, the RMP ask him to make a formal complaint the next day. Taking down information while also diffusing situations, it's a hard role to balance. Everybody reacts differently towards us. Um, you get some people who are just naturally aggressive towards us because they think we're a threat and we're just cut there to arrest them. Other people um, tend to break down and see us as some of the, like a shoulder to cry on and tell us all about their, their story. Um, so everyone reacts different and you have to be prepared for any eventuality that comes with that. Um, he became quite aggressive, to be honest, um, so you, just, you have to play them at their own game um, and just try to like, step back, try and get them to calm down and try and make sense of what they're trying to say because obviously we are there to help them and if we can um, apprehend the suspect at the scene, we will. With the incident dealt with, paperwork will wait until the morning, but until then, there's still a few hours of patrolling left to do. Ali Gibson, Forces News, Paderborn.